Chameleon skin, and these are my base clays which I have conditioned, and I'm going to make small pieces out of these uh, conditioned clay pieces. I need a sort of marbly uh, background for this uh, chameleon skin, because on top of this background, I'm going to use different kinds of micas. As in some are the color micas and some are the color shift or these are called as chameleon pigments. So I'm gonna use chameleon pigments for chameleon skin. So I'm making small pieces out of my these base clays. So the reason behind I'm using so many shades of blue and green are uh, the chameleon pigments which I have. They give different result on a different base. So I want to try that today. And yeah. So I'm making small pieces and then I'll mix them up. that marble clay and now I'm going to use these uh, different diameters things these are like straws and I cut one of my dropper this is my eye pencils cover so I'm going to uh, give texture with these uh, different diameter things colored mica powders on top of this I'm using my fingers these are my chameleon pigments so I'm going to use some of the chameleons and then some of the regular pigments uh, if you can see these pigments are giving different effects on different colored clays that's why I wanted that marble effect rubbing my fingers and later on I'll clean it with a brush wherever in the gaps or in the texture it's getting caught I 
Lanka is done. And now I'm going to cut shapes. I'm using exacto knife because I want free hand shapes. I'm not going to use cookie cutter. So I'm kind of cutting leaf shape. But with different sizes, different sizes and different thickness as in width and length. Excess, excess clay and we can reveal the pieces of course I'm going to use this clay again I'll make beads and other embellishments for this necklace out of this clay but right now I'm going to remove them these scrap pieces and I'm gonna place them on a tile and I'll bake it so I use ultra clay uh, I baked this clay at 130 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes you can use whatever the instructions they there are on your clay package ultra is Indian clay Indian brand see how beautiful these chameleon pieces are looking so I'll bake these pieces and I'll come back and then I'll show you how I'm going to attach them and make a necklace So what I'm going to do now is I'll sh shift these pieces onto a tile and I'll bake it. Exacto knife, you always have to put a cap. Ultra is a bit sticky clay. So it's going to take time. And I'll speed up the video here. So you won't get bored. Hello, I'm back and I have baked these beads and I have applied UV resin on top of it. See how deep it's looking. So these are the remaining beads and I'm going to make a bracelet out of it. And now I'm going to show you 
the necklace which I promised. <laughs> See. I made two two holes in every uh, bead and I used this enameled copper wire. If you have seen my previous videos, I've used th this enameled copper wire, made a chain and made these jump rings out of it and I made a beautiful necklace which you can wear with a white shirt and blue jeans or maybe an evening dress but I am loving it. Thank you. Bye bye. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.